Welcome everyone to another Yu-Gi-Oh! unboxing video. In this episode, we are going to be doing an unboxing for Cybernetic Horizon Special Edition. Okay, let's go ahead and flip it over and see what we got here. So, you actually get two variants here. You get one of these, well, I mean, they're both super rare variants, but basically one of these two and one of these two. Uh, none of the variants, I believe, are worth anything, but there's some pretty good ones, like Spiral Super Agent, for example. I mean, you know, it definitely has seen a lot of very successful play. Despite that, though, they're not worth it, because mainly that happens simply because there's a lot of different reprints and it's more easily accessible in other ways, so that's most likely why that usually happens. But yeah, so, you know, three packs as always, two variants. Let's see what we got here, right? This set is noteworthy for having... Uh, three very valuable cards. There's only three very valuable ones after that. The next valuable ones are like four bucks or something like that. And the three big ones are Boral Sword Dragon, uh, Danger Bigfoot, and Danger Nessie. All three of those are worth about it's a little over $20 each, but all three of those are actually secret rares, which means that they are very difficult to obtain. Okay, so here are the two of them. The first one is Eternal Galaxy. If you control a Photon or Galaxy monster, you target one Xyz monster you control. Special summon from your extra deck one Photon or Galaxy Xyz monster that is uh, four rings higher than that target by using that target as material. Treat it as an XC summon, transfer its materials to this, and a hard ones per turn. So, okay, that's Eternal Galaxy, and that's one, and then the other one is... Ooh, we got Spiral Super Agent, not bad. Spiral Super Agent says, if this card is in your hand, you can declare one card type, Monster, Spell, or Trap, reveal the top card of your opponent's deck, and if you do, Special Summon this card if it is a card of that type. If this card is Special Summon by the effect of a Spiral card, you can target one Spell or Trap your opponent controls, destroy it, hard once per turn. Yeah, it's actually really good. I mean, Spirals are all about, you know, kind of reading the um, opponent's deck and the top and all that stuff. So if you combine it with effects like this, you basically get, you know, um, you get an instant Special Summon if to pop a card. And also knowing the card of, you know, the, the card that is on top of your deck, but you should have known that already. But still, you know, cool stuff, cool stuff. All right, let's go ahead and got these three packs here. Three Cybernetic Horizon. Can we pull one of the three secret rares from these three packs? Honestly, I don't know, but I'm really hoping, I'm really hoping we can, because that would be so amazing if we honestly could. Let's see. Let's go ahead and put these on right over here. Let's put them ne more neatly, you know? Here we go. Dragoonity Legion. Wait, isn't this the name of the structure deck? I think it actually is called that. Wow. Okay, that's Dragoonity Support. There we go. Crusadia Arborea. Okay. Mini Boral Dragon. <laughs> okay. Yeah, all these Boral Dragons, you know, Borals are highly, um, uh, linked in combination with uh, Rocket, not linked as in like, no pun intended of course, but you know what I mean. Okay. Restoration Point Guard. There we go. General Two Cybers Monsters, it's a little bit more generic. Hip Hoshining. <laughs> oh, these are the funny ones like Miss Starboy, you know, Mrs. Radiant. Yeah, they made a Link Monsters of all those Metal Raiders rare cards that would buff up attributes like this one says. Two light monsters. All light monsters in the field gain 500 attack and defense. Also, all dark monsters in the field lose 400 attack and defense. If this card is destroyed by battle or card fight, you can target one light monster in your graveyard, add it to your hand. A hard ones per turn. So if it's destroyed in a battle card effect, okay. So you can, alright, not bad. A little bit of recursion there and gain some buzz. Yeah, the, it's nice to have these because they're generic for attributes. So if you run a type of archetype that's predominantly a certain archetype, it's actually not a bad one. To put in your extra deck. I know it's pretty tight nowadays, but still, it's generic and you can bring it out whenever you want if you do need that additional attack bonus, you know? So, it's pretty cool. So that's the super, and then the rare is... Ruin, Supreme Queen of Oblivion. These are these upgraded versions of the old, you know, Ruin and Demise back in... I think it was Shadow of Infinity way back then. Okay, but yep, that's that one. I'm not gonna read the whole effect, but there we go. Okay, then we got Terrifying Toddler of Torment. Oh my god. This is some, uh, a little bit of fiend support here, you know. Crusadia Regulex. Regulex. Okay. 
Goki Tag Partner. That's our next one. And then we got one more. No, we don't. That's the last one. Okay. All right. So that's what we got for that one. We got some... I don't know. I don't think Hippo Shinigan is worth anything, but I will definitely take a look at that and not uh, where I'll just put it right there. So that's pack one. Time for pack number two. Really hope we get this. Come on. We need to get that luck, right? We have to. Breaking of the world. Alright, this is a ritual monster support, right? Yes, it is. It's actually for Ruin and Demise. Okay. Crusadia Arborea, we got that's the same one again, we already got that one. Beast Magic Attack. This is a uh, spell counters and mythical beasts, like that mythical beast Cerberus and stuff like that, okay. Another mini, Mor mini Boral Dragon, okay. Dragunity Sonatus. You can discard one Dragunity card, equip one Dragon Dragunity Tutor from your deck to, your to discard. From your deck. Wow, okay, also you can not suppose on monsters when you next deck of this turn except dragon monsters. Uh, hard ones per turn. If a Dragonity card you control would be disturbed by battle or card attack, you can destroy one Dragonity card equipped to discard instead. And that one is not ones per turn. Alright, and then we got Goki. Okay. Goki the giant ogre. That's the rare. Two plus Goki monsters. Alright. 3,000 attack. Whoa. Pretty cool. Pretty cool stuff. Okay. We got some oh, Goki Heal Ogre. Okay. This one is uh, two Goki monsters. Crusader Reclusia. Boral Regenerator. Nice little rocket support here. Special Summon, I equip a discard, but when it leaves the field. It discards center of the graveyard because the graveyard monster is restored, you can draw one card. It's a little bit of an archetype specific premature burial in some ways. Okay. Um, Alright, I'm going to put the super there, and then they're right there, so this is what we got so far. Go ahead and just place that there, and we got one pack left. Oh my gosh, we need to pull at least an ultra, come on. We can't be pulling three super rares, like, are you serious? Are you serious? Contact gate, alright, that's our first one. Metaphys Ascension, okay. Goki Moonsault. Restoration point guard again, let's see. Come on. World Legacy Survivor. We pulled three supers, sadly. Excavate the top five cards of your deck, and if you do, add one excavated crawler, monster, or world legacy card to your hand. Also send the remaining cards to the graveyard, otherwise shovel all excavated cards into the deck. For the rest of this turn, after this card resolves, you cannot special summon monsters from the extra deck except wing monsters. You can only activate one world legacy survivor per turn. Okay. Well, there we go. Performer Pal Gold Thing. Okay, that's the rare. If it's summoned, all Performer Pal monsters can the control into under attack until the end of the turn. Once per turn, if... Okay. It's like a thousand damage to the opponent. Cluster Congester. Another terrifying toddler torment. We already seen that one. And Divine Serpent. Gay. Isn't this the one from the freaking... Let's see. I believe it is. Isn't this the... It looks like it's the one from the... One that darts use, probably. It probably is, to be honest. <laughs> to be honest. Okay. Then we're gonna put the commons right over here. And then we're gonna place our foils here and our rares here. So let's see what we got um, in terms of value. All right, I just did a little bit of looking up and sadly, there are no cards from this set that are worth anything. So we got some real bad luck again. Wow, we've been in a slump with these special edition things here. Okay, it happens sometimes though, but that's basically going to be it for this one. So yeah, if you enjoyed this video in any way, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye-bye, everyone. Have a great and, of course, a fantastic day.